Hello my friends! Let's go on a weird vlog adventure together. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but let's have some spring days in my life um, and just, yeah, do random spring things. The weather here, I feel like I don't even know if I can call it spring. It's gonna be 84 degrees today. <laughs> that feels like summer to me as someone who was born and raised in Alaska, but I think we're still technically spring. We got a couple of things to do today, a couple errands to run. We're gonna go to the farmer's market and we're gonna go to an Asian grocery store and then I think we're gonna spend some time outside because the weather is so beautiful and then we're gonna make pizza tonight. I made a homemade sourdough pizza crust, so I'm gonna use that and then Depending on what happens tonight, the Northern Lights may or may not be out. Last night they were out, and I'm sure you've all seen photos of them literally everywhere. Here are some of my photos. Um, it was so beautiful, so amazing. The camera definitely picked up more than what the eye saw. But it was so cool to see like the dancing lights. You could still see them. It was very neat. And it reminds me so much of my home. I used to see the northern lights growing up every time I would like drive to school in Alaska. And uh, I just lived in a place where there was very little light pollution. So I got to see them all the time growing up. And I haven't seen them since I moved out of Alaska. So it reminded me so much of home. So maybe if they're out again tonight we will check um, I think we are just right outside of the viewing zone now the viewing zone has moved further north so we probably won't get the chance to see them tonight but never know let's enjoy the spring day together these spring days together plural this is spring days in my life <laughs> all right let's get out of here I started using the planta app and it says these plants do not get enough sunlight so I took them outside um, to get some light. Now I gotta bring him back in because we're leaving. Farmer's Market Hall. We got some microgreens right here. I like to eat these on like our sandwiches and stuff. Picked out a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Oh, these are so fun and colorful and so pretty. And then we also picked out some strawberries. These are so tasty and they make me so excited for strawberry picking. I don't know why I'm touching this. <laughs> Makes me so excited for strawberry picking season. Why are you touching it? <laughs> Where's it going? <laughs> Our fridge is kind of a disaster again. There we go. Moving on. I'm gonna put my shoes on. It's sandal season. I gotta strap in. Um, our next destination is the, the flea market. There's a flea market going on. And we just had a lot of uh, fresh goodies. So we wanted to run them home. So let's get out of here. We need to turn this light off. Now we can leave. We are back. We had a stop by the grocery store. It got some carrots, Italian sausage, a, there's a green pepper in here, and then got some um, peanut butter. We needed unsweetened peanut butter for um, a dish we are making. We're like looking for it in the peanut butter aisle and see that you can grind your own peanut butter in the store. There's like a machine with peanuts in it and there's also cashews and almonds and different ones um but we were able to grind up our own peanut butter which was really interesting and it was like a dollar for that container i'm like wow this is this is crazy i didn't know it was a thing um but but yeah let me put away my groceries real quick we went to the flea market it was just kind of like a almost like a crafty slash vintage market, um, just in like an alleyway, so it was really neat. Um, I actually I bought something. I bought something, maybe I shouldn't have, but I did. I've been wanting more rings, and I found this like pearl, yeah, vintage pearl ring. 
I don't know if it's real. I don't know. It was pretty. Um, and it was like 15 bucks. So, and the money came out of my Venmo. So it's not real. <laughs> and I, it feels weird to be a gold girly. I always wear gold jewelry. I just feel like it looks so good. I don't mind silver jewelry, but I tend to prefer uh, gold. And it, it feels impossible to be casual with gold rings. Like I feel like gold rings just are always like, they speak of commitment. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but <laughs> it feels like impossible to just get like a normal ring you can wear on your finger without it being like a big statement. Um, but I really like this one, so I don't, I don't care. I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna wear it today. Peter right now is putting spider traps in his car. We've been driving around my car today because there is a jumping spider that is living in Peter's car. We saw it yesterday. It was really strange. So jumping spiders, oh my gosh, is that a little spider? Oh my gosh. I'm just all bug, bugged out, freaked, freaked out by bugs. Jumping spiders are like really intelligent and they have two front eyes and they track movement. And so when we saw this thing, it like was kind of scared of us and was kind of running away. I think it's more afraid of us than we are of it or we should be of it, but I am very afraid of spiders. I was like tapping at it with my two fingers and it was watching me and then like slowly walked towards me and then it got scared and ran off and we haven't seen it since. Um, but we don't want to get jump scared by it while we're driving. But it was just such a weird experience because it felt like I was interacting with a stray dog. Um, and I just think about like, I, I saw a TikTok and this person has a jumping spider as a pet and I don't know, they're just so, they're so strange. I don't like spiders though. So I like have really conflicting feelings, but they're harmless. But the harm is if it pops out of the car as we were driving, if it like just comes out of nowhere, um, we might freak out, swerve and get into a car accident. So unfortunately we are like at a standoff with it. And so we're putting traps in the car and we're just taking my car out today. Um, but hopefully it has just left the car completely and um, we, we don't have to see it again. But that was quite the experience. But next, we need to go to the Asian grocery store. We need um, some chili garlic oil because they didn't sell it at the grocery store. They also don't sell fresh bean sprouts at the grocery store, so we gotta go to a, a special grocery store. So that is the next item on the agenda. It is pizza cooking time. Pizza o'clock. You talk at me like this is one of those like fetish videos. Pizza o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god is that is this is this sausage <laughs> stop it so this is my sourdough pizza crust this is the second time i made this recipe first time we made this we ate raw pizza dough <laughs> a lot of raw pizza dough the trick we're doing today is cooking the pizza dough first and then putting the toppings on it so I'm just making sure this is as spread out as we want it to be. It's quite thin. As you can see, I'm like covering holes. But Peter was cooking up Italian sausage because we like to have Italian sausage and green pepper pizza. That's like our go-to when we like customize a pizza. So we're doing that for this one. Um, tonight we should have good viewing of the Northern Lights. So we're gonna do that, but okay. Honestly, I think this is ready to go into the oven. Send it. Okay. Pizza is complete. You can come in and cut it if you want. Maybe we should let it rest for like 
Oh yeah, so, and let it rest. It's looking pretty good. We sprinkled some pecorino on top. So it was tasty. Uh, we had to put it back in the oven because the crust on the bottom was looking a little soft. And this is the problem we've been having with this dough. It still looks good. I don't want to eat it. It looks the exact same as it did actually. It's not sticking to the pan, so we think it's done. It's just probably a little floppy. It's a little, a little flimsy. We need a pizza cutter. We don't have a pizza cutter. I know, I said we need a pizza cutter. Sponsors? <laughs> Any sponsors? OXO grips? Oh yes. Please. We use a lot of your products. Love their products. The final verdict, we think it's done. It looks good from this angle. <laughs> the bottom is a little flimsy. Um, I think our lesson from this is to fully cook the dough until it is like brown and crispy and then put the toppings on. So we'll try that next time. I have two other doughs, so we might try again this video, so. <laughs> All right, I'm craving ice cream. Perfect for this warm day. We have the Tillamook Campfire Peanut Butter. It's so freaking good. I need a Tillamook sponsorship. This is like impossible. Ice cream. <laughs> Okay, we have a couple of shows to get caught up on. So right now I'm heading upstairs to plug in my cameras um, to throw my camera batteries on the charger because um, I'm gonna bring out my DSLR tonight and this camera and I just wanna make sure everything is all charged up. So I will see you when we are ready to head out. Good to go. All right, we are all loaded up with games and camp chairs and my camera equipment. I think we're ready. Sunday. I look like a mess right now. <laughs> but late night last night, we were out until about midnight once again, and we did not see much of the aurora last night. I did get a little picture at the beginning of the night, but uh, it was like really faint, and we didn't see it after that point. So, really cool to be out there in the dark and in the night sky. We saw some shooting stars, and it was just really fun to just be out there and hang out and chat and just watch watch the night sky with friends and family today um just kind of got the morning started i've been really into doing word searches in sudoku in the morning we got some books we just threw in the drawer downstairs and we just start our morning with that and it's been a nice way to wake up and then i made the sourdough bread i feel like my sourdough bread has been turning out a little bit weird lately and i don't know what it is last time i definitely cooked it at too low of a temperature i just did it from memory and i remembered the temperature wrong um but this time i'm pretty sure i did everything right and i don't know why it kind of uh is looking like that upcoming for today currently we are preparing stuff for lunch mother's day lunch we are going to be celebrating with peter's family i need to shower and get myself cleaned up because i look like a total mess right now so i will be back momentarily feeling much better now and i think we're about to head out so i will update you all with photos and videos in a bit <laughs>
is impressive. Right to the tippy top. It has been quite the afternoon. Uh, we went to the gym and then we went grocery shopping at Costco. We had lunch and then we cleaned up the kitchen a bit. That was on my to-do list and um, I wanted to deep clean the kitchen today, but I just got so tired once I made it to the last part of the sink. So I may save that for another time. I need to shower and get ready for a concert tonight. I'm going to see Lizzie McAlpine with one of my friends from college. I haven't seen her in like six years. So I'm super excited for that. I think I wanna do my hair kind of like how it is now. I attempted to French braid it. It looks super messy. <laughs> it's like falling apart. But I think if I spend more than like five minutes on it, I think it will look good. But I feel like this is this is kind of like a vibe. My hair is falling out of it from every direction. <laughs> but I think I can make it work. I'm in my uniform. I went with the white skirt and this, this isn't even a white skirt, this is a dress. <laughs> I love this dress so much. Got it from Poshmark. It's made well, just a cotton dress. And then I am wearing this like denim shirt. It's got a lot of different details embroidered. I'm assuming these are like wildflowers now that I look at it, but it's just some like flowers embroidered around the shirt. And I got it at a vintage store. Um, and then I'm wearing my new ring I got from the flea market. You can't even see it. I have these earrings on that my brother gave me for Christmas. Tie it all together with, with my Birkenstocks. I also made an attempt at French braiding my hair. Um, I've never French braided my hair by myself <laughs> before today. Uh, I feel like it looks a bit more like a waterfall braid and it just kind of pulls everything back, but I like it. And then we got some little wispies, wispies out here, but I think I'm cooking. I think this is a, this is a look. I think I did good. Hello, good morning. It is the next day. Um, got back pretty late after the Lizzie McAlpine concert. We got back at like midnight. Um, she didn't go on stage until 8.45 and it said show started at eight. Um, and there was no opener either, but it was just such a good show. She has such a beautiful live voice and it was just really fun and intimate and raw. Her set design was like a studio session. I really wish it was in a smaller venue because there were so many open seats. We were in like the 300 section of the Moda Center and like the entire 200 section was empty. <laughs> Should have been in a smaller venue because like I could barely see the screens and the stage from up there, but it was still fun. Today's agenda is we're gonna run to a board game store because Peter saw they have a game he wants. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to World Market because why not? And then we're gonna go for a walk. Um, I like looking around at World Market. I don't need anything, but we shall see. And then we're gonna go for a little walk. So that's the agenda for today. So let's let's get on it. This is my outfit of the day. I feel like I look like a Jurassic Park character. Let's get out of here. Sunscreen. This has been my go-to bug spray. Smells pretty good and doesn't leave like a weird texture. Oh my god. Oh, cool. Dusty. Oh my god. Dusty smoke me too. What? <coughs> what did you do with that? We are doing pizza attempt number two tonight. Peter is making the sauce. The sauce is so stinking good. We're gonna remove the onions at the end and it's just about done. And then I have the crust under here. We are cooking. Yeah, yeah. let us cook. <laughs> it's photosynthesis time. These two are looking pretty good. This one, not so much. Um, a little outside time for them. Wow, okay. 
welcome to the last day of the vlog. Well, last night just kind of ended the day playing Dave the Diver all night. Um, and that's exactly what I was doing this morning again is playing Dave the Diver. So we got a couple of things on the list. I'm ready to go to the gym um, and we got a couple errands. I want to run and then, um, yeah, I just wanted to show you what we get. I want a new plant for the kitchen. I was on Pinterest last night and I was like, we need, we need something in here. I don't know how to decorate in the kitchen because you know, we rent, so we can't like hang things on the wall really like mug hooks and that kind of thing. Eventually we do want to get like a coffee bar cart um, and put like our coffee machine and we eventually want an espresso machine, but kind of our savings and spendings has been put on hold, but I do want to buy a plant. I was on the Planta app looking at just whatever plants were really low maintenance and could handle well in not much light and so i found the perfect one so we're gonna we're gonna go hunting for it it's called a zz plant and it's just supposed to be something super low maintenance um that can handle well with not a lot of light it is toxic so if you have pets don't get it <laughs> deep on doki lore peter is allergic to animals so. and then at the end of the day I, I just have a bunch of chores to do so i will probably sign off when i get to the chores because i just gotta like fold laundry i'll be back when we have a plant Planta app says to water this plant every 12 days, so it should be pretty low maintenance. We'll see how it holds up. These like white fuzzy things keep popping up in <laughs> in my yuzu plants. And um, the other day I did see like a really tall mushroom and I'm like, whoa. Um, and that's in my plant that's like not doing so well. The other two are doing fine, but one of them keeps getting this like white fuzzy thing popping up and so i looked it up and it appears to be a fungus or a mold so i just removed it um and it's probably caused by lack of airflow or over watering i've been using the planta app to kind of keep up with watering schedules better i got the yuzu plants for free a couple of months ago and they're just kind of really hard to take care of so i'm gonna pop open the window dead bug in the window. I'm gonna make Peter come grab it. I don't wanna touch it. Oh goodness. Yeah, isn't that thing huge? Yeah, it is. It looks pretty dead though. Yes, it's very crispy. Looks like a, like a grasshopper or something. Mm. Mm, no, it might be like a praying mantis actually. I read that if you sprinkle cinnamon on the plant, it should help a bit with um, mold and fungus so i'm gonna try it i know very little about plants getting these yuzu plants was um, probably a mistake but they were they were free from a restaurant in portland and so i'm just gonna sprinkle some oh i'm gonna have to flick that off the plant i'll do it on all three of these they're now cinnamoned up Oh, it smells like cinnamon over here. No, oh, well, no. <laughs> I suppose as I put this on, we have some friends who come over occasionally. We haven't seen them in a bit, but we'll be seeing them soon. Luckily, we're not coming over here, but one of them is allergic to cinnamon. <laughs> so, <laughs> gotta remember that. Cinnamon is on the plant now, so hopefully that helps. But I think that is all I have for you guys. For the rest of today, I will probably just be editing this video, <laughs> doing chores. I got laundry to catch up on things like that, some not fun things um, to regale you all with, but I had fun showing you around my spring days. Uh, it's just so lovely to see the weather warming up, being able to go outside more, and just, I don't know, fun summer days are ahead. Um, and so with that, I will let you all go, and I hope to see you all next time. Bye!